Hey, this is my brave. It's Joe Fusaro from the 2015 New York City This Is My Brave show. I was recently talking with Jen Marshall about how I couldn't believe it's been five years since our show. In that time, so much has happened and um, I was writing so much in the last five years and, and trying to produce and be an advocate and start a business and do all these things that I haven't really taken a minute to like look back and, and look at the things that have changed and the progress that I've made in the last five years. So um, at some point this year, I decided to go back to the poem, This Is My Brave, that I wrote in 2015, uh, which is in my book, A Little More Time, which Jen actually wrote the forward to. And it was the start of so much that, you know, it brought back all these emotions. And um, it was the start of so much, but it also was the start of, of so many changes. And I decided to follow up to that poem, go back, look at it and uh, create something new. And this is called A Little More Time Epilogue. Another thought, I refused to hang on. My seeking thoughts only made me fall apart. What if I could only see from the center of my sincere heart? What if I had known that my mind was not my enemy it was merely taking on the desperate personality type that had been packed with reasons to feel void from the start. Maybe my world would not have crumbled at all. Maybe I'll stay right here and bury the word maybe for a little while. I have forgiven myself. My life was not wrong. It was perfect as it was. And as it is today, it will surely be as perfect as it could have been a few years from now. I just needed to accept myself a little bit more. I've made peace with that. I've made peace with that. I hope that you can make peace with your heart too. My only unsolicited advice is that the previous line is the only thing that you'll ever have to do. I hope that you can make peace with your heart too. I know that you can. Write it down. It only takes one time. It's your choice to choose. Just say I choose to feel alive. And then watch your days slowly start to feel a little lighter, a little brighter. Your possibilities and opportunities to feel good and give back will grow from narrow to wide. All we have to do in this life is to be kind. It may save a life. All we have to do in this life is to be kind. It may save your life. A little more peace, a little more love, a little more safety, a little more art, a little more fun. It is what we fill our time with that gives us a little bit more. Looking out the window, it still amazes me that the sun never gets tired. A song plays in the coffee shop that reminds me of an anthem that replayed in my head from 2002 to 2009. A broken heart, a broken self. It reminds me of loss, confusion, late nights, sad and broken times. However, today I feel stronger than ever and I pray to whatever that in a few years you have a playlist full of songs that kept you alive. If I'd only known at 25 that my life was not over, if I'd only known at 25, I had the ability to either disregard a day or plant a seed and slowly watch it grow. My heart lives inside of the sun. It never gets cold. I wish I'd known. I'm so glad I know. 12 years later, all is good, all is well, the best choice that I ever made was to keep going. Too often these days, I get up on stage and I forget exactly what I want to say. So I'll keep it simple. Let love lead the way and keep going. I promise you that the day you stop trying to figure it out, that is the exact moment you'll know to let love lead the way. And please always keep going.